The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the solvent welding process of large diameter System 15 or System XFR. Solvent welding is a process of fusing thermoplastic products together. Solvent welding is not gluing, but rather is truly a welding procedure resulting in a finished product similar to what a thermal weld would provide for metal or plastic products. Creating optimal solvent welded connections, however, does require attention to detail and proper preparation of components. For the purpose of this video, large diameter is considered 8 inches or larger. For this demonstration, we will be using an 18-inch diameter System XFR pipe. Use only primer and solvent cements in accordance with IPEX instructions, specifically for sizes 8 inches through 12 inches. IPEX recommends using System 15 XFR primer in conjunction with IPEX System 15 XFR two-step cement. For sizes above 12 inches, the recommended cement is Zyrtec 19 Industrial PVC cement with the same primer as described earlier, System 15 XFR primer. Before beginning, assemble the proper materials for the job, appropriate applicator for the size of pipe, and fittings to be assembled. Flexible straight edge, tape measure, pencil, marker, third-party mechanically assisted winch, and beveling tool. Gather the proper personal protective equipment, PPE, for the job, respirator, safety glasses, gloves, and protective clothing. What follows is the solvent welding procedure for large diameter System 15 and System XFR pipe. 1. Cutting the pipe. It is important to cut the pipe squarely so that the maximum bonding surface area is achieved on the pipe end. Begin with drawing in a square circumferential line by using a flexible straight edge. Pipe can easily be cut with a fine tooth chop saw. A reciprocating saw may also be used, provided the operator cuts along the square circumferential line. Tools used to cut pipe must be designed for plastic piping and must be in good condition in accordance with the tool manufacturer's recommendations. If there is any indication of pipe damage or evidence of pipe end cracking, cut off at least two inches beyond any visible crack. Two, preparing pipe ends. Always bevel pipe ends. Remove burrs and filings from inside of the pipe using a knife edge or file. 3. Cleaning. Using a clean dry cloth, wipe any dirt and moisture from the fitting socket and pipe end. 4. Dry fitting. Before applying primer or solvent cement, test all pipe, fitting and accessory connections to ensure a proper interference fit exists. Dry fit contact between properly beveled pipe and fitting sockets is essential in making a good solvent welded connection. The beveled pipe should easily enter the fitting socket and make contact with the socket wall before bottoming out. A proper interference fit is present when the beveled pipe can only be inserted one-third to two-thirds of the way into the fitting socket. Do not solvent weld pipe, fittings or accessories that fit loosely together or where pipe bottoms out. When a loose fit exists, proper joint strength cannot be developed. Do not solvent weld pipe, fittings or accessories if a beveled pipe cannot easily be inserted at least one-third of the way into the fitting socket. This may cause excessive stresses during assembly, leading to joint failure. Although some installers may be able to assemble large solvent weld joints without any mechanical aid, based on your experience and comfort level for the best results when assembling large diameter pipe, IPEX suggests using a come-along or an electric winch system. You may also want to consider the use of a pipe clamp to guide the cable and a pull support to pull the joint together. 5. Applicator Size Use the appropriate roller or swab applicators in accordance with your pipe diameter. Proper applicator size is critical to ensure the correct amount of primer and solvent cement is applied to the pipe, fittings and accessories. The following applicators are available. Roll A Weld 70207 inch roller for pipe diameter 6 inches or larger and the 4020 swab applicator for pipe diameters 6 inches or larger. Both of these applicators fit into IPEX's standard MT648 one gallon can. Do not use paint brushes, shop brooms such as corn brooms, floor mops or rags as applicators. One, measure the fitting socket depth and mark the outside of the pipe with this dimension. This will help with application of the proper amount of primer and solvent cement on the pipe 
and also helps indicate full and proper insertion of the pipe inside the fitting socket. Two, apply the primer to the inside of the fitting socket. Be aggressive and work the primer into the interior surface of the fitting socket. The goal is to penetrate and chemically soften the interior surface of the fitting socket. Three, use a roller or swab. Apply the primer to the pipe end, equal to the depth of the fitting socket. Be aggressive and work the primer into the pipe. The goal is to chemically soften the exterior surface of the pipe end. Four, apply the primer to the inside of the fitting socket a second time. Five, it is imperative that the primer remains wet. Use the swab or roller to apply a full, even layer of the solvent cement to the pipe end, equal to the depth of the fitting socket. Like the primer, work the cement into the pipe. Remember to apply enough, but not excessive amounts of solvent cement to fill the gap between the pipe and fitting. Six, apply a thin layer of solvent cement to the inside of the fitting socket. A thin layer will prevent puddling of the solvent cement inside of the pipe or fitting. Seven, apply a second full, even layer of solvent cement to the pipe end. Excessive solvent cement on the pipe outer diameter should be wiped away after assembly. Eight, without delay, while the solvent cement is still wet, assemble the pipe and fitting. If possible, twist a 1 8 to 1 quarter turn as the pipe is being inserted. Once the pipe has reached the fitting socket stop, do not turn any further. Doing so could break any fusion that is starting to occur. 9. Hold the pipe and fitting together until initial set has been achieved to avoid push out. 10. A bead of solvent cement should be seen around the entire socket fitting entrance after assembly. With a clean dry cloth, remove the excess solvent cement from the pipe and fitting socket entrance. This will allow the solvent to evaporate from within the joint. Do not use or test assembled piping system with compressed air or other gases. Do not use air over water boosters. Refer to the IPEX DWV Systems Installation Guide for initial set and cure times. For more information, contact IPEX directly. Visit IPEXNA.com.